Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to Selena Thinking Out Loud. Today we're going to dig up um, this stump. I've dug up like five other stumps now in the backyard, trying to get ready to do some creative landscaping back here um, after completing the front of the house. Um, but these are <laughs> something else. So hopefully I can show you how I do it. Um, we did get a new reciprocating saw. So I will be reviewing that and seeing how it does with uh, working with cutting um, the roots once I get down to it. So I'm just going to start with a good old shovel digging up and finding all the roots that are down in the ground. Let's do it. All right, as you can see, I've been digging and we have revealed one root. So I'll cut this root here, right here, but we'll just keep on digging to find the others that's down in the bottom here. And that's the trick. Just dig, dig, dig until you find a root. And then you cut that and then it'll wobble out and you pull it out. All right, I like to use this little tool to kind of chisel away with under the stump. And as you can see, it's not a lot to this stump. It's already kind of decaying anyway. And as you can see, when I hit it, it's already breaking apart, which is a good sign. So that means I, don't have, I won't have too much to do with this as one. As you can see, it's time for the reciprocating saw. I have my blade attachments here too. These is our, these are the Diablos. I'm gonna put this information about these in the description, but oh my gosh, these are for pruning, you know, flash, fast cleaning the wood. So it cuts right through the wood. As you can see, they have got put in a lot of work. I've taken down a lot of stumps with these things. I did buy a chainsaw, but that just did not work. As you got closer to the dirt, found out that your blade dulls out if you put that too close to the dirt. So this has been a lifesaver. These carbide teeth, oh my goodness, so awesome. And they're still ready to put in work as you can see. All right, I've so attached the Diablo to this reciprocating saw. It was very plain and simple, easy with this model. You just pull that latch down like that and that will push in the blade and then you let it go and it's locked in. Um, if you want to release it, do the same thing. Pull down this latch here and then release your blade attachment. up you can see the light under at the end of the tunnel because that's all that we have to cut this little piece right here and also that right under the bottom there but you see how decayed it is so this one was a lucky one I'm glad I got to show you guys on an easy one versus a difficult one that took me a couple days but uh, let's finish up all right guys I cut the bottom and it is out there you go I'm just going to cut a little bit deeper in here to get this root system out because we're thinking about putting an orange tree right here or raised bed for gardening, for gardening, you know, planting fruits and vegetables. But there you have it. Success. It's out after being here for so many years. Um, but I have to say, get out and give stuff a try. Doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl or a woman or a man, you can do it if you put your mind to it. All right. So I'm going to clean up the hole here, put the dirt back in this hole to make it all level. And this project is done. Thanks for stopping by. God bless you. Bye-bye.